Well, today I'm at the, it's called the Boyd Big Tree Preservation Area. So checking things out this morning here. We'll see if there are big trees here. I'll be back if I find anything more interesting. All right, still here at the Boyd Big Tree Preservation Area. Still walking along the trail here. Pretty nice place so far. Well, here's a, not a puffball, but some people confuse it with puffballs. This is a, actually a, a type of an earth ball. And they, uh, they're like puffballs that when you, when they dry out and you squeeze them, they uh, squirt the spores out. Kind of like this, watch this one. So, uh, actually this one's, I think they call it a tough skinned puffball. But like I said, it is an earth ball. Puffballs are white on the inside. And this one, when it was younger, if you would have cut it open, it would have been black on the inside. But still, it's kind of cool to squeeze them. Releasing millions of spores into the air. And I found some of these little chanterelle mushrooms again. They're always growing in the same kind of place. You have always a little small stream. Mossy area. And these bright little orange chanterelles. These are actually, uh, they're not the um, common chanterelles that you often find. These are more like, a, I think they're called cinnabar chanterelles. But they're still in the same family. You can eat these. But uh, I've tried them and they didn't give me no reason to try them again. If you ever come across these little things, these belong to a tulip poplar tree. And uh, these fell off a little early, but usually they dry out. There's like a whole ton of little seeds that just peel off. Here. So that's what those are. There are some decent sized trees here. Um, 
another another one over here there's down here I I can't tell from the video too well but they are nice sized trees compared to what you find a lot of times in the forest around here it is always nice to see big trees so, so here this tree is called a striped maple and if you look at the bark you can obviously see why it almost looks like a candy cane yellow and green candy cane and the leaves here's what the leaves look like a typical maple shape but there's only three lobes and here's another one over here sometimes it's called moose maple too I guess moose like to eat them but we don't have moose around here um, over here are some these are pawpaw trees right here they always have these big oval leaves these are little ones there's a bigger one back there They're not too common, um, but you can eat the fruit that they give. It almost tastes like a banana. And while we're at it, there is one other bush here. We've got a spice bush here. These are quite common in the area. They get little red berries in the fall that you can use for seasoning sometimes. And the the leaves have a spicy, I don't know if call it spicy, but they have a certain smell to them. And I think you can make a tea. All right here's a berry. It's still green though. They'll turn red come fall. But you can make a tea from the leaves and twigs. I haven't done that yet. Maybe I should try it someday. All right. Here's a giant millipede. They're actually harmless. I know, people, I know they freak people out, but they can release like a foul-smelling odor if you pick them up. Not that many people would want to pick them up. These are pig nut hickories. They're much smaller than the regular shagbark hickories. And they're also very bitter. So, if you're looking for hickories, don't take these home. Now up here at the the power line crosses over a whole field of wildflowers here. And you can see way off in the distance there. I'm on the, well, I'm on what's called the Jane Trail right now, here at the Boyd Big Tree Preserve. And I'm, overall, I was pleased with this place. It's got plenty of trails. It has some length to them as well. So, I'll definitely come back here. All the trails are well marked with different colored blazes. Pretty easy to get around. So here's another one of these uh, puffball lookalikes, the tough skinned puffball. And this one's young enough that I can show you what it looks like on the inside. If this was a normal puffball, it would be white on the inside. And as you can see, this one's black on the inside. And black means no good. Some people try to eat these, but uh, most people get sick when they try them. But anyway, earth ball black, puff ball white. Black means bad. Try to put it back together. 
Now I'm nearing the end of my hike here at Big Tree Place. So if you get a chance to come out here, I'd recommend it. Nice place. Well, until next time, see you later.